the most important enterprise data on the planet today is actually SAP data. And now you're marrying it with the best data platform in the market, which is Databricks. So for me, it's a marriage made. SAP and Databricks announced their partnership a couple of weeks ago. And normally you think that it's just some random new partnership, but I think this is a game changer for AI in business. And in this video, I'm going to talk about what this means for companies, the business impact of this move, who wins from this partnership, who loses from this partnership. But most importantly, I'm going to talk about what this means for the AI landscape overall. I mean, think about it. Big businesses aren't able to use AI with their most critical data. This is the reality for so many companies. They can't really use AI because they cannot give it access to their data. And especially for those running on SAP for years. Their data is spread out across ERP, across HR and supply chain systems. And all of that data has been locked away in a walled garden. Difficult to access, expensive to integrate. But now, Databricks' lake house architecture is embedded directly. I think this is the path forward. Data intelligence where you sort of, in a specific domain, an enterprise might have specific SAP data in their ERP system. And then you train an agent that's really good at that particular data. And that way it can become super intelligent just for that domain. You have the most valuable business data. You get financial records, you get supply chain logistics, you get HR analytics, and all of this data can now integrate with AI. So now companies can do something that they've never been able to do before. Combine real-time SAP data with external sources and with AI models. But what does this mean for enterprises? AI that understands your business. Today's AI models can summarize pretty much anything on the web, but they really struggle with proprietary enterprise data. And this partnership actually changes that because businesses can now train AI directly on their SAP data and they can create intelligent agents that actually understand their financials, their operations and their logistics in real time. But what about the business impact? This isn't just about making AI work better. It's about reshaping business efficiency and also profitability. Also, you're talking about revenue growth because SAP is expected to see a major revenue boost because customers will pretty much unlock new AI capabilities. And also, Databricks is betting big on this because they're setting aside 250 million to migrate businesses onto this integrated platform. You also get a lot of investor confidence because now SAP is holding about 25% of the global ERP market. And this partnership actually makes their position stronger relative to their competitors because at the same time, even though they're stronger than the competitors, they're also expanding their AI driven services. When we talk about AI, we can also think about innovation at scale because enterprises can now leverage AI for pretty much like supply chain optimization, financial forecasting, and even generative AI powered chatbots because everybody's building this and everything is trained on their actual business data. You don't need to have these gigantic, enormous clusters all in one place. So I do think it's shifting and changing the requirements on chips. Let's look at the bigger picture because it actually this shows a shift in AI infrastructure because this move isn't just about better data integration, it's about the evolution of AI itself because in the last couple of years, AI development has been dominated by massive and centralized GPU clusters. Companies like Nvidia made a lot of money on the assumption that businesses would just always need a lot of computing power in order to train large language models, but that's no longer the case because AI is moving towards a distributed, a let's say more reasoning based approach where models actually learn in real time from their enterprise data instead of actually relying on massive pre-trained data sets. With this shift in mind, AI models no longer require huge and costly supercomputers in order to be useful. Also, businesses can use AI within their own environment and that makes it smarter, it makes it faster and more relevant. Also, we're talking about real-time decision-making that is going to replace outdated batch processed analytics. But now, who wins? Okay, who wins from this partnership? You get both Databricks and AI consultants because with Databricks embedded in SAP, skilled engineers and consultants stand to make a lot of money by implementing these solutions. Also, the demand for AI-powered SAP expertise is about to increase because now you get Databricks on SAP just like Azure Databricks, and there's a full market for that. 
Also, SAP and Databricks will make more money. SAP already dominates ERP, but with Databricks' lakehouse architecture, with built-in governance, with built-in AI, they're going to increase their margins and they're going to lock customers further into their ecosystem. But listen, there's the catch as well, because not everybody's thrilled. Some people see SAP's move as just another way to kind of tighten its grip on enterprise data. They've been a pain to get data out of for 20 years. Now they've just extended the garden to Databricks. I mean, listen, SAP has a history of restrictive licensing and aggressive pricing. I understand that. And now they're going to make a partnership that actually protects that mode. Otherwise, they would just lose money if people would just get the data out. To be honest, I think this partnership solves AI and integration challenges, but at the same time, I think businesses may still face some steep costs for accessing and processing their own data. Now, what do you think about this partnership? Let me know down in the comments. Is this an opportunity or is this just a dud because the data just stays locked in their systems? If you like what you heard, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.